Welcome to Cloud 941, Sarasota's only live television show on Sarasota local politics. Tonight, once again, we're going to have a lot of fun. Big show the night before the big election. We're all excited. Last week, we made our predictions with Dr. Richard Zwire on all 10 races. And this week, we have our last candidate, which is State Senate candidate Morgan Bentley, before the big vote tomorrow, although I know more than half of you have already voted. Our commentary this week is on the newspapers. We're going to give out our awards for coverage. As you know, I, I am a, a frequent observer and I, of uh, the newspaper coverage in Sarasota. And whether you realize or not, we have eight newspapers in this county, and I read all of them every week. I enjoy reading the different perspectives that each newspaper brings to the table and uh, follow the political coverage of each, each newspaper as well as their endorsements and see who is fair, who is accurate, and who, who has been balanced and, and treated all the candidates uh, equally and been informative. And so what are some of the newspapers? Well, maybe some of you don't read all of these, but I do. Tempo News, here's one. Longbow Key News, another one. The Observer, Pelican Press, of course, the Herald Tribune. We are blessed to have one of the worst major newspapers of any, uh, of any major market, and this, this is the poster child. If there's any wonder why the Herald Tribune is going out of business and has laid off a third of their employees in the last two years, all you have to do is read the editorial page of this rag. And we've got a couple more, the Northport Sun, of course. We've got the Venice Gondolier. So there are eight newspapers in Sarasota County. Now, which newspaper gets the award for best political coverage? The Observer. The Observer is a great newspaper. Um, this is uh, Matt Walsh, the publisher of The Observer, co is consistently able to hire some of the best and most talented young writers. Um, the news stories that they do, they ask candidates questions that are atypical to try to do on this show instead of the same old things over and over again. They're fair, they're objective. Um, we think that overall we've followed the, uh, all of the newspapers this entire year of 2008. The Observer has done the job in political coverage. Who has been the worst, the direct polar opposite? Well, it's getting cold, and uh, you need some stuff to help get your fire started in the fire fireplace. Might I suggest the Pelican Press, because that's about all this paper is good for, really. I mean, you, you can pick this up at most free news stands. You can get it at the uh, 7-Elevens, uh, out on Siesta Key, Bird Key. And uh, look, if you rely on this for your political news, you need to have your head examined because uh, this, is, this is a garbage newspaper um, staffed by writers who are not only, uh, not only has-beens, but include a few never was in there, too. So anyway, that's our commentary. Those are the awards. Best, best political coverage, The Observer. Best political coverage, Pelican Press. And with that, we introduce our final guest before the 2008 presidential election, State Senate candidate Morgan Bentley. Morgan, welcome to the show. How are you? Why are you making me laugh while I'm charging my coffee? I've never seen anything like that. <laughs> Uh, I'm two minutes into the show and already I'm in virgin territory here. <laughs> well, wow! I, you just said to people who read the Pelican Press they should have their head examined. That is, uh, I really want you to say what you think. No, that's because I'm not running for anything anymore. Right? <laughs> that's true. That's true. <laughs> you know, the, these will be preserved somewhere, and if you ever run again, they'll have little sound bites. Of you. That is, that is great, though. Hey, at least say what we think. That's great. Okay, Morgan, let's get let's talk about you, okay? Absolutely. Third subject, yes. <laughs> Tell us about your family, your background. Um, well, I was born and raised in Lakeland, Florida. I was a third generation Floridian. I um, lived on the same street my dad was born on and so on and so forth and uh, immediately left after uh, <laughs> getting to go to college. So I went to the University of Florida undergrad, went to the University of Florida Law School, um, came here to work for Williams Parker as a clerk, frankly never intending to come to Sarasota. I only did it for the summer because my dad's boat was here and uh, you know I had this idea I'd live on a boat and be like you know boat bum or something and just loved it loved the people loved the town loved the, the uh, type of work I was doing and um, still do so uh, um, I, they had a litigation department there I got a daughter six and a little boy three and been married for 13 years to the same person so uh, you know which is good okay. you know that yeah you know, <laughs> 13 years to 13 people side. yeah exactly so uh, <laughs> All right, well, let, let's kind of find out a little bit about Morgan Bentley, the guy, okay? Because these might be some questions you haven't been asked before. Tell us about a hobby of yours that you have that might surprise people. Well, I, it might surprise your viewers. It won't surprise my friends, but um, I, uh, 
I'm a pretty consistent surfer. I go with uh, your former primary opponent, uh, Lawrence Eager, and I go surfing a lot. Stephen Walker and I go surfing a lot. Um, and uh, there's like a group. Brett McIntosh is in yeah, it too. Yeah. It's uh, there's actually a, a. So you like to hang out with all the criminal lawyers? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just in <laughs> case, you know. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> well, you are. You got the best stories for crying out loud. What do I tell about? Well, I had a great reinsurance contract the other day, and they're, right. they're talking about people that, like did real crime, you know. Right. And, uh, so uh, yeah, it's a good core of people, and uh, Brett's the best surfer of the bunch, though I gotta say, little Brett McIntosh. The little guys yeah. are good; they can move. Oh, yeah. he's like sticky feet, man. He just anything, and he has a fear gene missing. You know what normal people would think? Okay, that's that's big, that's gnarly. You could die. He's like, we're in. We're going. He should run for office. Yes. That's a good yes, trait. Yes, exactly right. So, um, so that's probably so the surfing. one. Yeah, okay, surfing. good. So, How about yeah. what's your all-time favorite band? What, what's your favorite band? Oh, gosh. I mean, it's got to be the Rolling Stones. It's the best rock and roll band to ever see the light of day. I mean, come I on. I've seen them everywhere, too. So, Let yeah. me tell you a story. My, my executive producer here, Drew Ryan, he won a pair of Rolling Stone tickets from, from his work in a raffle, and we walked out after, the, like, the third song. What? Yeah. As the viewers can tell from our music, we like the younger bands. So <laughs> we, we just wanted to say that we walked out of the Rolling Stones. You know? <laughs> wow! You should have well, your head examined. No. <laughs> I bet, you got me. I actually, I actually sailed one time to Mick Jagger's Caribbean home. Wow! Which is in, is in, yeah, which is in Wasik and Beckwe. If you've ever been down to St. Vincent and the Grenadines, it's this little rock, and uh, it's actually David Bowie. Princess Anne and Mick Jagger, about the only people who live there, and I swam in from the boat just to see if I could, you know. Did he catch a glimpse of Mick? No, I don't think he was in residence at the time. And <laughs> I think that was a little too much groupieism for me. I was like, all right, I'm done with this. So I've done my groupie thing. I'm leaving now. So it was great. All right. Uh, how about your all-time favorite movie? Ooh, that's a good one. Um, probably Casablanca. I mean, that, that's just a. It's an all-time classic all the way around, you know. And, People say Citizen Kane, but you know I've seen it like five times. I still don't get it. You I don't. don't I mean, I don't get it. It's like <laughs> this is the best movie ever. And like, <laughs> it's boring. It is, and this will probably be a soundbite later in a political career. It's, he doesn't like Citizen Kane, but no, I mean Casablanca. You got everything. You got yeah, Ingrid Bergman. Yeah, yeah exactly. that's the first I mean, thing that comes. In. <laughs> yikes! Yeah. Good stuff. All right. How about your favorite restaurant in Sarasota? Ooh, favorite restaurant. You know that's a good one. Um, we go to Patty George's a lot, um, which is a good one. Of course, word of mouth is my favorite, like, day-to-day -day restaurant, believe it or not. It's right across from the campaign office, and it is the new power location for... I've uh, never heard of it. Well, they have a little place in Gulfgate. They opened up um, just a little hole in the wall, literally, and it, word of mouth. And, and, and people said, oh, you got to go to this place, and they're just packed on Sundays. And so they opened up where Metro Cafe used to be, um, okay. across from the dry cleaner there on Osprey. And uh, everyone in there is super nice. You can get to meet Ellie, who plays down at the 5 on Friday nights. And, and my friend Scott, the band, since you like younger bands. There you go, my friend Scott. All right. You like all these pubs I'm throwing out here to these yeah. people? Yeah. Uh, you They're know, I love me. <laughs> well, you people We're learning a lot about Scott. Yeah. Has to vote for me knows now. every pub in town. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we got to go to a break. We come back, we'll start getting into a little bit of the nuts and bolts of the campaign.